Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to pass an array as props. The last challenge demonstrated how to pass information from a parent component to a child component as props or properties. This challenge looks at how arrays can be passed as props. To pass an array to a JSX element, it must be treated as JavaScript and wrapped in curly braces. So here you see we're passing in a prop of colors and we're passing in an array. Um, the array being this and this array has a length of three. At position zero is green, position one is blue, position two is red. And so within the colors property, we're passing in an object of the array to the child component, which is being called within the com parent component. The com child component has access to the array property colors. Array methods such as join can be used when accessing this, the property. Uh, the constant child component is equal to props. Uh, array methods such as join can be used when ass assessing the property. So here they're saying the constant of the child component, the props, and they're passing in the props.join. So they're joining the array together and, s and separating it out by a comma to make it a string. Uh, that's Yeah, so that's it. So this will join all colors array items into a comma separated string and produce yeah, green, comma, blue, comma, red, comma. A comma with a space. So that's what they're saying. They're saying that they can join the array together like that. And what they're really saying is that props.colors, which is going to be equal to this green, red, blue, uh, green, blue, red situation. Think of this array is what renders out to here. And so when we say green, blue, red, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to show you. If we inspect, uh, I'm going to inspect here. In the console, if we say green, blue, red, uh oh, come on, green, blue, red, and we say dot join, and then we join them with a comma and a space, then we get this string. So we can do array modification tools right in the uh, JSX uh, situation. So later we will learn about other common common methods to render arrays of data in React. There are list and to-do components in the code editor. So here we have a list, which is a component, and then we have to-do, which is a class component. When rendering each list from the to-do component, pass in a task, pass in a tasks property, a tasks property. Okay, so tomorrow list change code above this line change code below this line in the list rendering each list from the to-do component pass in a tasks property okay so we want to pass in a tax tasks property so within the lists we want to say tasks and we're going to set that equal to then access this tasks in the list in the list component showing its values within the p element use join to display props dot tasks tasks okay so what we want to do and then we want to keep this format so we're going to do uh, curly braces and within the curly braces we're going to add an array and uh yeah there's just two things in this array we want to have walk dog and work out so we're going to go walk dog and we're going to go uh work out um and so now we're passing the tasks property to the list object. This is the list or list component. The list components now has props of tasks. So it, within here, uh, I think we could say uh, props dot tasks. And this has got walk dog and workout. Uh, so yeah, it's actually rendering it. It's rendering the string. Uh, rendering the array with no commas and uh, no spacing. Uh, today's list should have at least two tasks and tomorrow should have at least three tasks. Hmm. Display the tasks in the P element in the comma separated list. Comma separate. Let's just run the test and see where we're at with this one right now. Both in instances of list component should have a property called tasks and tasks should be a type of array of list. List. 
Oh, okay, cool. So they've got two lists here. So we've got today. I'm going to get rid of these comments because they are frustrating. And then, yeah, let's get rid of the comment. So we've got today and tomorrow. There's the H1, which is our ma main element, and then we've got today. This is the list, and then we've got tomorrow, which is a list. And this one should also have a tasks uh, prop being passed in. But with this one, we're going to change it. It's going to say uh, the tasks is joined. Well, what did it say? Both instances of list components should have a property called tasks, and ta and tasks should be a type of an array. Um, so, yeah, I think that this one will actually pass now because I've actually put an array in here, even though it's empty. Cool, that one did pass. Uh, the first list component represent uh, the tasks for the day should have two or more items. So right now there's one, and then there's two. Uh, the second list uh, representing the tasks for tomorrow should have three items in there. So we should say um, watch useful programmer and right now I'm just going to create an array. Uh, uh, watch useful programmer um, uh, work on my portfolio and the final object the final item in the array will be uh, do burpees. Do 100 burpees. So this is a legit th plan for tomorrow. So yeah, let's run the tests. I don't think this should pass because right now we're just printing these list elements. And so the list component should render the value from the tasks prop in the p tag test prop in the p tag so it's doing it but they did say that they want us to be a little bit more fancy with these things so in the props dot tasks what we want to do is we want to say we're passing in the array right so we're passing in walk dog workout and we're also passing this one in and so what we want to do is say join and we're going to join these using a comma and a space and that way it's the walk dog and then comma workout space Watch useful programmer, comma, work out, work on my portfolio, do 100 burpees. And so, yeah, I think that's what we want to do. And now we can render the test and it should pass. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is uh, pretty interesting stuff. I mean, if you think about it, you could probably go like, un make this an unordered list. <laughs> and then pass it in as uh, list items. And then, uh, okay, so yeah, I guess that wouldn't even work because this would just create a single list item with those in it. So this is not like a dot for each thing. So yeah, we ignore that. I'm just kind of playing around trying to uh, improve our understanding of this, um, of this, of the concepts here. But uh, yeah, this is what they're hoping that you can do. Now, again, you could just have a task. I made it. Uh, triple line because I like to keep my code to be really clean but basically they just want one two three items in this array and so this is the way that you're more familiar seeing arrays uh, and so yeah the whole idea here is that you're passing different tasks but you're making it from the same thing and so uh, yeah this is kind of like reusable code now I like to keep my spacing you know I think that it's important to have clean spacing and think it makes it makes the code easier to read and so I would keep it like this but um, there's not really much else I would do to this to try to make it um, better so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching hope you enjoy this one and we'll see you in the next lesson